Hello folks, welcome back to our 10,000 cow challenge here on Comston Farm. And yeah, first of all, we need to sell our old drill because we've gone and borrowed this one over here. And the good thing about this, we can direct drill, so that means no plowing, no cultivation is required. However, we are going to be plowing in this episode because I going to need to deal with our field over here, so... Already I've gone drawn the boundary on our field, so you can see where the field is, where it will be. Now we we'll just need to finish the rest of this off. I did return the new hall in that, so I think what we'll do is take this to the field and then yeah, maybe I should what well, should get a worker on this, so if we start off on field five, that's where we are now, and yeah, the plan's gonna be putting grass in all of our fields. Because we're going to need a lot of straw and whatever's left over, not straw, hay. We need a lot of hay and whatever's left over is going to be used as silage. So I'm hoping we could go over some of this corn we've left in the field and that. Couldn't be asked to go over those. So first of all, let's go, go and drop this. I do love the animation on this little kinsey here. So yeah, we are direct drilling, and that's good. We're going over these. Should I say soybeans? No, we're going over the corn and that. So that is doing a fine job. Workers can go on that. I'm going to take this over to the main farm, which is just up here, and we'll get the plow hooked up. So there we go. We've got our trusty nine meter plow out, and I've decided to save money on the worker and that. All the drain that I'm just going to do ourselves in that. So, yeah, I think what we need to do is spend a bit of time just getting this field created. We do have stones in that. Do I rock pick them? It's going to take a while, but I think it could be worth it now because we can use stones in our agricultural production to get some lime. Yeah, even though it's a 1 to 2 ratio, there's other ones I know there's like a 1 to 4 in that. But also we need water in there as well. Water is easy enough to come by. Also, I have like 14,000 years off methane at the moment. And things like, if we could get some cheap herbicide in, we could start making our own seeds as well. Because we do have a little bit of wheat transferred over from, well, I think it's off from the greenhouses, so... And when we have snow in the winter and that, we can make water then. Yeah, again, I'm just looking at looking at everything and things like size additive we could do with making potentially. Diesel, that's required the oil, so no. Of course at the moment we're doing silage. But yeah, I think get some in refit transfer labor. Once we get some hay in that, then yeah, make some TMR in that for the cows, because that would be a very good production for, you know, making the TMR in that. Because yeah, we also did the math one last episode, and I think for a year for our cows now, it's about 800,000 liters it's needed. But I think that was for just the, obviously, adult cows. And yeah, so I think we could get around about, what, one and a half million, 1.6 mil. Cows are going to be growing rapidly over the coming years, like at the moment. Yeah, we have, look, we've got 1,200 cows. But I can guarantee that, because our cows, yeah, I think it's 80 months it is, or something like that, when they hit the puberty stages and that, so they start reproducing, so. But saying that, I'm tempted to get more cows in myself now, like, you know, Utilize that milk production, but I had not to have the feed and that. Okay, miss a little bit. But yeah, let me crack on with this. I'm going to get the rock picker in that, so... I'm going to get the slightly mod version of this in. So yeah, 5.5 meter ones with a 2,000 capacity ain't going to do the job, so yeah. Every me a sec, what if we get this done? So alright, we are done with the ploughing and we are in the process of getting all the fields done so if we have a look, our yield bonus and that is around about 100%. So yeah, we've just got one more field to go and that is the one that we just ploughed. So 
yeah, been cracking on bits. Because, yeah, one thing I want to do is get the grass mode in this episode now. So we're going to skip it ahead a little bit. And also, as you may have noticed, we did upgrade the planter from the 12 meter to the 18 meter one. Yeah, I think at the end of the air fall, yeah, going to 80 meters made more sense, so... But now, we need to top up with some seed and liquid fertilizer, so... Just pull over here and that. But yeah, at the moment we've got enough supplies and that, I think. Actually, no, we'll find out now how much we've got, so... Liquid fertilizer is going in. And we have a little look, so... Plenty of liquid fertilizer, seed and solid fertilizer we're lacking on, so hopefully that's going to be enough for the year and that. Okay, we don't need more, I think that's a bit too much, but now we need to put the seed in. No, don't you. I want the f seed going in. There we go, getting all the seed in now, so whatever goes in here. It's going to be fine, but yeah, so since we don't really need to replant, this should be enough for this big field here we've got. And then I'm thinking what we can do is, as we head into the next year, is get a large shipment of seed and solid fertilizer bought in. Because yeah, obviously all the liquid fertilizer we're not going to be using that, we'll go back into silo nets. But yeah, it's going to be a bit of an arduous task. But yeah, so far it's going actually not too bad, so we should get this done, I'll say by around 3 o'clock and that, then knock off for the day and that. And then skip ahead till when this is all ready to mow, so... Because yeah, we need to produce enough hay and that, so our grass... Yeah, with all that, we can use some of the grass and that for silage. But yeah, at the end of the day, it's going to be really down to how much we're able to get from the fields and that. Oop, already smashing into our chain link fences. There we go, let's get you positioned up. Like so. And there we go. We are farming. So, yep. Yeah. Got the rocks picked up, we got about 12,000 litres from the field, so yeah, not a massive hole now, but at the end of the day, a lot of it is down to, to prevent the wear and tear on our equipment and that, so at the end of the day, it all helps now, get a bit of lime, even though I did realise we got 100,000 litres of lime already pre bought, so I think the lime we produce now, it's only fair that we sell them, so also, actually, before we go and skip along here, I want to look at a few things now because we do have a full load of milk here, so a full bowels are worth of milk, so I think yeah, I left it around the corner over here. But yeah, this terrain here with Oh god. Not my finest work, I admit. Oh, I thought I left it over here. Guess not. Oop. Not into the ditch, please. And let's not smash through a cow shed, please. And nope, left over here and that. So yeah, we've got a full 20,000 litre load. And I think we've got about another maybe 5,000 litres left or so. At least. So I'm thinking of making good use of the milk and that. I'd rather than, you know making cheese now because we look at the prices so well, I've got a few productions that we can do but yeah looking at what you would normally do now with the milk and that so milk at the moment at its peak price almost actually yeah pretty much just there now pretty much so yeah 1300 for a thousand years so usually you can get cheese from that which is worth a fair amount but yeah, it's, gonna, it's, it's peaking now, it's going to go down slightly in January and February. But I thought, do something a little bit different. And this involves using the milk we get fresh from our cows and that. And process them to basically bottle them. So it does mean putting this down. 
and yeah, it's going to require somewhere to put them. And to be honest, I don't think we're going to need this commodity storage in that. So, not we'll get rid of you, get some money back. Oh yeah, I know there's a cheap dairy that we could use from this and that. But yeah, anyway, I think this could be again. It's something different than that. Okay, looking at where it spawns and input. So it's going to spawn on the left there. Very minimum terrain. So yeah, I would see how much we can put in there, what the capacity is, because yeah, bot milk is worth about a similar amount of cheeses, but yeah, again, I need a, I'm just thinking of doing something different than that. You know, do something slightly different to what most people would do in that, so... But, anywho... Nope, that's our green silo. Or green and liquid storage, so yeah, milk goes in here. Something like that, that's going to go in. Yep, yeah, that's taking all the milk. And yeah, that's going to process that very quickly. All in the course of a month from that, so... This is going to be the perfect production for our cows and that. Like, you know, our milking cows and that. Get huge quantities of it, so... Let's see how much more milk we can get and put in. So, you know what, I was actually correct. Yeah, just over 5,000 a year, so this is a month supply for the bot in that. And yeah, do need to find somewhere to store them. Maybe put them in one of these sheds over here, so, you know, our milk that can be stored over here. Separate from our bells and that, because I'm sure mixing bells and bot milk in that is some form of health and safety bollocks and that, but... At the end of the day, got plenty of storage options and that, so there we go. That is a month's worth of milk already in. So come up third week of, or last day of October, October 3, we're going to be pretty golden. So let's finish off the drilling and then we'll see where we stand in November in terms of how much we can cut. because. We do have a lot of fields of grass, so all of this... Oh, actually, no, we've got soybeans to deal with, actually, so... Maybe, yeah, the grass kind of got to be for another episode in that, because... Yeah, we need to purchase that field, and, yeah, that's going to... Uh, yeah, that is going to require a loan of some sort, so... Yeah, so that's going to be problematic. But yeah, so you know what? Let's get it finished off, and then we'll see where we stand afterwards.
and alright, we are done, and yep. With that removal of the commodity storage, yeah, that was a mistake because the silo that we got is ain't, ain't actually a silo, it's a fill point or buy point in that, so yeah, that's going to be slightly problematic for us, but anyways, we're at the shopping at, so we just sold the seed and fertilizer in that, because yeah, we ain't going to need seed until early spring in that. But yeah, so what I'm just going to do is hose off our equipment over here and start returning these to the farm net. Because yeah, we're going to need this in November. And I've got an idea, because like, the whole mowing, bathing and all that. Yeah, about that. I think I've got some ideas on that. Obviously, I'm going to be wrapping these bells, so I'm going to get rid of the bell wrapper on that. But yeah, we'll just go and return the jet washer on that. Because, yeah, I think if we do grass bells and that, start chucking them into our productions we've got on the farm. So, go into our production. So, things like here are two farm productions and that. They accept grass, hay, and all that to get silage and that. But, yeah, we can make hay as it is. So, to be honest, I think if we chuck our grass in, do a mixture of those. We do get a bit of methane, at the moment we've got 18,000 litres of methane, so... Actually, I'm curious... Okay, our tanker there, that can do... Methane. But, yeah, also you notice on the top right, we have taken out a staggering... 2 million pound loan. And that is because... Over the coming months, before we get round to doing the mowing... It's going to be harvesting time for the corn... Some soybean, sunflower, yeah, sorry, yeah, corn, yeah, corn, soybean, sunflower, and all that, and even like things like the potatoes and that. And I've got a gamble, it's gonna be a bit controversial, but I am thinking of doing some field flipping. So, if we look at the PDA, we've got 13 and 30 we're gonna be purchasing. My plans are gonna be a long term investment. And have a look at the crop window. So I'm pretty sure that's just been planted at Barley. So yeah. Those, that's going to be ready in October. November. 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 And Oct no, Sorry, that may be October. And that may be October. And what fills are those exactly? Cotton, soybeans and sunflower. So my thinking is. We start flipping. Purchasing these fields and flipping them, including this, was it potato fields? Yeah, that's a potato fields in that. So, because yeah, we're gonna need to borrow some equipment. So, things like the cotton harvesters and that. So, we're looking at at least 376 grand. So, these things that's gonna be 20 grand to these, eight grand a day, which is all gonna be done in a day, hopefully. And yes, I have got productions already on the go and that, installed in that, so we can get that cotton and transform those into clothes. Also going to need a potato harvester in that, so I think it's under, yeah, so the Terados T440, that's going to be 10 grand, plus the potato header in that. Okay, we don't want the unrealistic stuff, so... Yeah, 10, 50 grand, let's, well, I'll go with this one realistically in that, so, yeah, 510, so ain't too bad in that, but, yeah, we've got a lot of work to do, and it's also including making sure all of our fields are fertilised, so, go to fertilised, obviously, ignore this bit here, we'll get that sorted, but yeah, so many patchy spots now that we've done with the drill and that. That is very concerning. All the other fields are going to be harvesting. They're fully fertilized, but apart from this, what the farmer on this field done, that I've got no idea. So I think actually we're going to need to drop that. Go and borrow another fertilizer spreader on that. Maybe is it worth purchasing one? I'm not sure. I think so. Yeah, let's purchase this one. The Sky. X50 that because this can do 50 meters 
Cover, yes. Protection, uh, sure. Put them on casters, no. We'll just leave them as is, so. 23 grand. That is going to be worth it, because especially contract work now. Come, you know, maybe many fills on the map. But when these contracts do come around, and they will, we're going to be in the bank, so. Let's go and grab our new furrow spreader. But yeah, the methane I was on about. We'll start looking to sell that again. Does it come up on the crop prices and that? So I'm not sure exactly when it's going to be worth or best time to sell. So actually, you know what? Let's go and purchase some solid fertilizer here at the store. So 4,000 a year. So let's buy some British fertilizer and that, so things I'm going to be doing is uh, using these, like the Sea Pioneer Pro Boxes. Again, I'm just using different ways of purchasing items and that, so I think I've already gone past it, so yeah, I could get the cheap fertilizer and that, of course I can, but where's the two? There we go, yeah, it's under big bags and that, so yeah, these are really realistic big bags and that, so what brand do we want? I think we go with the Premier Crop, so we're going to need four of those. Seven grand. Ouch. That's going to be pretty expensive, Nat. But yeah, of course, I know there's mods in that. Again, I got these mods enabled, like the micro greenhouses and that. Things like these size or the liquid barrels and that. I'll use that for things like the herbicide and that. But where I can, I'll use realistic British mods and that. So yeah, this, thankfully this will hold exactly 4,000 years. And also, one thing I've noticed when harvesting, not harvesting, planting that, we're going to need some weight, so small weight, something like that would do. Actually, what? Let's get the slightly bigger one, so go to our weights. Yeah, no, we've got the class one there and that. But yeah, this gets filled up and fertilize our fields. So yeah, we're filled up to go. Also, I just spent £500 at the store because they do have a fuel tank at the store that. So yeah, we just filled up the tractor and that here. So I think if we start off with the... Yeah, since we're over here, let's go and do this field over here. So... Because, yeah, if we look at the PDA again, obviously this is where we decide to swap between what particular one we're going to go with, and that terms with the whole drill in that situation, so... Yeah, let's get into the field a bit. Now we can see where some bits ain't required in that. But, yeah, a 50 meter spread. Yep. One or two spots has been missed, and to be honest, we can still go a bit wider than that. But yeah, this is going to be, again, a little bit of an expensive job, but at the end of the day, it's needed. Especially for the grass and that, grass and soybeans and that. There could be our mud crops, yeah, soybeans ain't going to be sold till June and that. But I think, overall, we're going to be looking good here, so let's get these done, and then, yeah. I think that's where we'll wrap up the episode here, I think. You're playing your cards with your queen of hearts When everyone folds your forge to holes You're placing your bed, showing no regret Close your eyes to hide your lies, roll the dice you got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass Got an invincible fence letting everyone know not to trespass But you're bound to break down, bound to lose Bound to get knocked right out of your boots When I use my
You got me tiptoeing around you like you made of glass. Got an invincible fence letting everyone know not to trespass. But you're bound to break down, bound to lose, bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my witchcraft. Trespass, but you're bound to break down, bound to lose, bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my witchcraft. So, right, we are done, and yep, after some technical difficulties there with the old methane cell, we were able to sell the methane and yeah, had incredible profits of four thousand pounds a thousand liters. That is absolute incredible. So thing I'm going to do is uh, put you away. Good thing about our big shed here, we can just store all of our equipment and don't have to worry about being all neat and tidy about it all, so that is good. And yeah, so in terms with the spraying, there's a bit patchy bits here and there, but yeah, these bits are very patchy and that, especially this one over here. Uh, I'm tempted to go over that, but I'm not sure exactly. I think that is the majority of that field isn't fertilized, but you know what? I'm just going to leave it in that. So when we do it next time, yeah, I'll make sure I fertilize it properly in that. But to be honest, I think that's where I'm going to leave it today. Get the combine warmed up already in that. Also, I did have to spend money on putting some sim tires on John Deere that cost us seven and a half grand at the store. Pretty expensive, but at least now we got narrow crop tires for when we're in the fields and that. And my question is now, where did I put the header to? Over here somewhere. Because yeah, the combine is fully washed. I think I'm gonna do a bit of a wash in that. But yeah let's go and find the header in that. Actually sure where do I leave it to? Ah, left it over here. Again, such a big shed in that. Couldn't find where I left our damn header in that, but let's go and put everything set to washing. And yeah, there we go. Just hosing everything off. And yeah, I forgot to wash this off when we finished it that, so I'll make sure not to do that again in the future in that. Because yeah, these cartridge jet washers and that, these are absolute beauts in that. May get some more of them than that, so you dot around here and there, but overall looking good, twelve percent wear that, so maybe worth giving it a little service in that. So you know what, let's go and do that now. So fortunately we've got to move our little dandy over here. Oops. Also, yeah, I forgot to mention that earlier on the episode that we did sell our other um, trailer we had that, that small, was it 2000 year trailer in that? Yeah, for the milk and all the serving in that. Yeah, just did me sense of uh, keeping that, so I got rid of that. Got rid of the plow as well, since we're done with the plowing. But yeah, how much is this going to cost us to service? Oh, two grand, not too bad. Could be a lot worse than that. goes back and out on that. And yeah, so thankfully we're very close to field 13 over here and that, so not much far to go in that, and to be honest, I'm still going to use the lorry in that, you know, for transferring everything over and that, so actually coming out over here. Uh, not really for the hedgerows and that. Actually, how do you access this field? I completely forgot already on how you access it. Oh, don't tell me what go all the way around. Yeah, I think you access it from the north we did, so... Yeah, so you got to go up the road at. 
So yeah, alright, yeah, not too bad. But anyway, so I think that's where we're gonna leave it today. See you next time. We will be harvesting and yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a controversial episode. It's gonna be Phil Flipping's gonna be involved in that, but as I mentioned before and that, we will replant them, so Actually did we return that planter? I think we did. Dang it, so we got uh, at least that drill again. Or at least a drill of some sorts in that. But yeah, so if we look at the crop window, what can we actually plant in October, November? Wheat, barley, oats and that. So I think we'll use that to our advantage in that. So if we plant those, and one thing we can do is, you know, when we harvest it next year in that, in summer in that, We'll get straw from these fields and that. Hopefully, if, that's if we get the contracts for them. Of course, contracts ain't a guarantee thing. Depends on the farmer and that. If they want to, you know, offer out contract work out to others and that. Or if they're willing to do it themselves and that. I end days down to them and that. But, anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share us, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please stir. But, for to do. Hope you're nice day, but for now, it's me, Farmer Evil Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.